absolutely. And content management basically is the, uh, is the idea of managing business information in managed repository for web browser delivery is called content management. Okay? For publishing, not managing, but okay, look, it, it should be publishing business information in managed repository for a web browser delivery is called content management. Okay, publishing <coughs> information, how? Let's say I have created a sheet and HTML is content or not? Huh? <laughs> Can because HTML file is content for me right now. Okay. What do you do basically? Are you publishing here? Yes, I am publishing <laughs> this information here yes, into web browser, into managed repository, into database here. Yes. For a web browser delivery, is this is the entire definition of content file. Okay. Traditionally, it's everything here, it's the Everybody is doing here like in order to publish your information onto the website, you should know FTP server, you should know how to publish the information. So there are different sort of software should come in place in order for anybody to publish the content onto the web browser server. Let's say I'm going to publish the information onto the website. I want content management basically. And uh, in order to achieve that goal, I need to have a lot of software. But Microsoft has made your life more easy. Microsoft says use SharePoint, and it makes you uh, like feel there is no tension because you know content. But there is a lot of feature of content management in the most 2007. So content authoring, authoring means creating of content. <coughs> Who is the author of the content? Who is going to create the HTML files in your organization? The HR department, the IT department and the developer, yes. There should be a developer. It's a common phenomenon. If anybody who is going to create a content, he should be a developer. But Microsoft <coughs> Moss has made your life more easy and you can create content by a known professional author and you can publish content via non-professional publisher. Okay? So there, is, there are two phases in order to publish the content. If you want to do a content management, first you need to know how HTML can be created and second you should know how the publish process has to be done. So this means that one, two techniques technique should be here, one is the publisher and one is the author. Because of the MOS content management feature, they made your life easy. They have given a content management template in order to achieve the same goals by non-professional <coughs> author and by non-professional. Let's say the business user or the business information or the CEOs are in any organization they wanted to publish the content, they wanted to author the content. What they have to do? They have to use only the most templates, use it, and then get it, get it, get it done. Everything. So we will see <coughs> more things here. There are two more things. So you understand the basic idea of uh, the most is to make everything more easy. Non-professional developer, non-professional author, and the publisher could easily manage the content management activity. You will see a lot of applications based on this technology. Nowadays, 
In PHP, you will see Joomla is another <coughs> application. As you have heard this name, Joomla is the competitor of MOS, by the way. You will see uh, its design in PHP and I have seen the entire portal area that will help you design more portals for your organization based on PHP <coughs> technology and they will help you for content management. But what Microsoft offers is offers a lot of more features than any, any, any other software. So I will go back again. There is a two category. One is enterprise content management. And other is web content management. So if somebody is going to ask me like what is there is a difference between these two, web content management and enterprise content management. Web content management is purely authoring activity. Authoring means creating files, they can be HTML files, they can be videos, they can be audio and text files. So if you want to note down the definition of the web content management, that is purely Authoring activity. Now come to the TDM, Enterprise Content Management. It has got a lot of big framework. We will not go into that detail. We will cover a little more detail of TDM. TDM, TDM comes or it includes document management, record management, and web content management. So these three uh, uh, activities come together. They, whatever you do using all these three technologies, they come under enterprise assembly management umbrella. Right? So if you look at this screen, web content management purely content offering and publishing activity, it includes internet, intranet and extranet. And let me just say what extranet. Everybody knows what for internet and intranet, everybody has to use the ETM feature or web content management feature of MOS. How they have to select the template and then you can do the rest of the thing. You understand the idea. You are going to create HTML pages for your organization's website. This is content management what you are going to do. Alright? So Microsoft has made your life easy. No professional author, no professional publisher can create web pages and then they, they, they can establish internet facing website or inter, intranet facing website or extranet facing website. Extranet is another type of site. How they can do it? Extranet is a portal, <coughs> internet absolutely for everyone. Intranet is for the internal employee. Mm -hmm. And extranet is the portal who can be accessed by all the employees but outside of the organization. This is the definition of authorized person to be absolute. It is the environment where intranet is the environment for internal employee. It is the environment for internal employee. <coughs> You can use the portal from outside of the organization. This is the difference between intranet and extranet. Like Microsoft has been using extranet portal for their partners. Let's say I have decided one area or one portal I have created for 